I'm show and tell on my artwork. Show and tell. You remember that from school, right? Well, this poster here is a poster of Superman and Thor engaged in battle. As you can see in the background, it's two different worlds, one of concrete and one of mountains. And actually, that's the only reason they're fighting, because they are both good guys. It's just that they're from two worlds, so the worlds are clashing, so, so they are clashing. They didn't kill each other in this one, though. Not Superman, not Thor or die. Okay, so everything's okay. You get a close look up. This took me about maybe, it took me a while to paint it, probably about two months, because I put it down and come back to it. This is the old cat in the hat. This is the old cat in the hat. The one who used to come in the house and mess with the kids and mess the house all up and try to clean it up right before mom gets home. Gets home. You can't hardly see it. Let me see. Like, yeah, you turn to the side, you can see it better. Somebody mentioned getting a high definition camera. I don't know if I can afford to invest that all right now, but. The background is exploded, as you can see. It's light in here. It's coming through the window. It's really throwing it off. Let me get back. And you can just zoom your camera, and you can see it better when I get back. It took me a, maybe about the same amount of time as it took the other one, because I'd stop and work on the other one and come back to it. Let's move on. This is a popular cartoon character known as Goku. He sometimes has black hair, sometimes he has yellow hair. On this picture, he has yellow hair. It's a kind of whimsical thing to me, really, I think, because of the background and the way his hair is flying in the wind. It took, it took me, it didn't take me as long to do this one because I stayed on this one until I got it done. It took me about two weeks to do this one. This is something I just came up with out of clear blue one time. I was actually drawing a, a poster for this guy and he wanted a mean, ferocious looking beast looking horse because he's like a baller supposed to be and I didn't know that's what he wanted. I had drew just a plain old gentle horse, and he was laughing at me, so I took it in the house and turned it into a Ralph Lauren polo, and just put the little polo guy on top of the horse and put the background in it, and then showed it to him later, and he was like, man, but it just wasn't his style, though, you know. I guess he was more like a FUBU guy than a Ralph Lauren guy. I did see him with some Tommy Hill figure on sometime. I'll be getting credit on that. Hey. Now this is one of my favorites. This really is my favorite. Because I really did put my work into this and I liked it. Uh, this is Wolverine. He's one of my favorite characters. What I like about him is, regardless of what the plan is, if he see a need to do something, he don't let nobody stop him doing from doing it, and it usually turns out right. It's hard to see in the background. It's showing where he broke out of the uh, lab. He's coming out of the lab at that point. Maybe if I get back, and again, once I'm asking you to zoom it up, work with me on this right here. Thank you. And that is. Took me about. It took me a long time to do that one. It took me like a year to do that one. And this is something I just created out of the top of my head. I was drawing a superhero, and I already had pictures of him before, so I decided to turn this into something else. It's just like real wild. This guy here uh, looks like he's in another dimension or something. I don't know, maybe, but he has a spiral on his chest for his symbol. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get back with you on this one, but the decor is pretty nice, though. It's pretty uh, outlandish. Oh, well. You got to be 
leave the artist room for his own interpretation of stuff. You have to leave the artist room for his own creation and creativity. Sometimes it may be whack, but when it hits online, it's like, bam. You're like, yeah, now I see what you mean. Okay. And this here is a poster that I came up with. I was just drawing the Jordan symbol, and I was thinking about what Spike Lee said about he's money, because he's money on the court, and he is money on the court. Uh, and I just threw a dollar sign behind it and a gold ball in his hand and put it in glitter. You see from the side. I thought about marketing this right here, but I would have to talk to the man himself. I don't want to talk to anybody else about marketing. And the final one is, well, it's really one of my favorite too, like the Wolverine, because it was just such a unique idea. I saw it on some little piece, a little pad or something, maybe the cover of a little notepad or something. And I picked it up and took a look at it for a while and decided I wanted to draw it. And it's actually a hip hop buzz bunny. And it explodes in the background on this. It's hard to tell from here, but once again, I'll get back. And if you get a chance to zoom your camera, let me straighten it up there. Get a chance to zoom your camera, you'll see. I mainly draw like cartoon characters and stuff, but I do have uh, some posters I'm working on of uh, other type of uh, drawings, but they're yet to be finished yet. Well, thanks a lot for your time. It didn't cost you nothing but a little time. What do I owe you? What do I owe you? How much did I pay you? How much? Ten dollars an hour. It took about fifteen minutes. Uh, two fifty. I got you. Send me your PayPal account, and I'll send you the two fifty. Thank you.